Okay, everybody. Hey, Nick Dyer again here. So, uh, congratulations. You're moving on to uh, speech two in our uh, Kojo 2010 for for the condensed online version. So, <clears throat> really exciting. Hopefully, speech one was a really great experience for you. Um, so, let's go ahead and get uh, speech number two assigned. We're going to be in page on page 89 of the Speaking Out workbook. All right, so if you want to follow along in your paper version or in your online PDF version, uh, either way are great. So, okay, speech two. Each student will prepare, rehearse, and present a brief procedure speech. A procedure is a systematic series of actions that lead to a specific result or product. Speeches about procedures explain how something is made, how something is done, or how something works. At the end of the informative speech, your audience should be able to describe the procedure. No outside sources are to be used in speech two. Let me reiterate that. We're not going to be citing anything in speech two because we haven't um, reached that part of the semester yet. The educational goal of the speech is for you to prepare a brief speech that includes all of the elements of the introduction, body, and conclusion of a speech as discussed in class. Be sure to demonstrate a clear purpose, a central idea, and main points. Let me touch on one thing with determining your purpose. So when we talk about specific purpose, it's really important to have that measurable verb in there. And so at the end of this speech, this assignment actually offers that up for you. And your audience should be able to describe. So if you use the word describe, you're probably using a really good safe verb for your specific purpose. Okay. A simple and clear chronological organizational pattern is the key to effective procedure speeches. So right away, we're also giving you, this assignment's also giving you the appropriate uh, organizational pattern in chronological, okay? And so that, remember, that's in sequence of time. First, second, third, before, during, after type thing. Generally, time is limited and topics should be relatively simple. Try to choose a topic of interest to the class rather than something they already likely know. A few examples of positive speech topics, how to use a citation machine, how to check your credit report, <clears throat> how to secure your computer from privacy invasions, and how to make your own Christmas cards. Bad speech topics are things like how to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or um, how to fold a t-shirt, things that uh, aren't going to be informative to the audience. Those are typically problematic and, and likely your instructor is not going to be in favor of those types of topics. But check with your instructor if you have questions about your topic anyway. Outlines. Um, again, you have to t turn in a typed preparation outline following the guidelines presented in class. Uh, you're going to upload that to YO Courses. Okay. Uh, you may not speak from the preparation outline, but should prepare your own speaking notes. You know, note cards, uh, things like that. For this brief speech, for for this brief speech, your outline constitutes 20% of your grade. All outlines are due prior to speaking, um, and again, they have to be uploaded to Wild Courses before the speech. Okay. Delivery. You should focus on an extemporaneous delivery, making sure that you can maximize eye contact or um, camera eye contact with, with your webcam. Connect with your audience uh, through that eye contact and by avoiding physical uh, distractions or vocal distractions. All right. Time limit. Each person will have two and a half to three and a half minutes uh, to present speech to. So two and a half to three and a half minutes. You'd be penalized three points if you're 30 seconds under, so all the way down to two minutes, or if you're a minute over, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me, 30 seconds over and under. So you have from two minutes to four minutes to fit in this speech. Two minutes to four minutes without penalty. Visual aids are optional, but should be simple in nature and easy to set up and take down and, you know, to get on, on camera and things. Um, after 30 seconds over the time limit, you will have to immediately stop speaking, which will result in a loss of points in your conclusion or other sections if you don't get there. This speech is worth uh, 50 points. Okay, so at this point, I think this is probably the largest assignment that you've you've had so far. All right. Speech two for me in the past has been a really really cool experience. Um, I've heard some really great procedure speeches on. Um, you know, vehicle maintenance or uh, kitchen uh, recipes, kitchen procedures, uh, 
life hacks, the term life hacks you see on the internet sometimes are typically, uh, they, they typically make for pretty good speech to topics. So you might take a look uh, at some of that stuff too. If you have something that you do that makes your life easier and you think that sharing it with the audience uh, would be something that could make our lives easier, you typically have a pretty good speech to topic there. So think of those types of things. The evaluation sheet for these are on page 93, so you can cruise through and see what you're actually going to be evaluated on. Um, other than that, we'll look forward to speech two and talk to you soon.